Six years on from the death of beloved British actor Alan Rickman, his inner thoughts are being released in a book of his diary entries. Some of the entries expose his true thoughts about fellow Harry Potter actors and how he secretly battled prostate cancer during the filming of the franchise. Watch the video above, Harry Potter cast recall first kisses in reunion special. For more celebrity gossip related news and videos check out Celebrity Gossip in October, the compilation of entries is set to be released, summarizing the 26 volumes Rickman kept from 1992 to his death in 2016. In the lead up, the Guardian has published several excerpts from the upcoming bombshell book Madly Deeply, the diaries of Alan Rickman set to be published by Henry Holt and Company in October. The actor, best known for playing Severus Snape in Harry Potter, died on January 14, 2016, aged 69 from pancreatic cancer. Despite being best known as the calculating wizard, Rickman wanted out of the role after the first two films. Talking to, agent, Paul Leon Mars about H.P., Happy Potter, Exit, which he thinks will happen, the entry dated December 4, 2002 began. But here we are in the project collision area again. Reiterating no more H.P. They don't want to hear it, he wrote on January 5, 2006. Years later, the actor recalls saying yes to H.P. 5. The sensation is neither up nor down. The argument that wins is the one that says, see it through. It's your story. No more HP this came weeks after Rickman had secret surgery to remove his entire prostate as part of his cancer treatment. Pre-op. This is like a film set. Nothing seems real, the die-hard star wrote. Remembering nothing but with that painkiller high in the recovery room. Attentive, caring people. Although Rickman wanted to leave Harry Potter, it seems his conversations with author J. K. Rowling encouraged him to stay as she revealed top-secret details about the then-unknown fate of his character. In 2007 he wrote, Snape dies heroically, Potter describes him to his children as one of the bravest men he ever knew and calls his son Albus Severus. This was a genuine rite of passage. One small piece of information from Joe Rowling seven years ago, Snape loved Lily, gave me a cliff edge to hang on to. The late actor recalls his first meeting Rowling who nervously let him in on some details about Snape's background to help with his character development. Talking from her is talking to someone who lives these stories, not invents them, he said in 2000. Rickman goes on to chronicle his thoughts about his fellow Harry Potter actors, notably Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson. On May 2, 2003, Rickman wrote about the title character actor Radcliffe. I still don't think he's really an actor but he will undoubtedly direct slash produce. A month later on July 30th, the actor said of the then child actors, these kids need directing. They don't know their lines and Emma, Watson's diction is this side of Albania at times. Shocked and devastated Drickman's terminal cancer diagnosis was only known by his close confidants. In 2015, the actor had a minor stroke and learned he had developed pancreatic cancer. The actor's unexpected death shocked his colleagues and the world with Rowling tweeting at the time, there are no words to express how shocked and devastated I am to hear of Alan Rickman's death. He was a magnificent actor and a wonderful man. My thoughts are with Rima and the rest of Alan's family. We have all lost a great talent. They have lost part of their hearts, she said. Loading tweet Radcliffe posted a statement on Google Plus calling Rickman one of the greatest actors I will ever work with and one of the nicest, as well. Alan was extremely kind, generous, self-deprecating and funny, he said. And certain things obviously became even funnier when delivered in his unmistakable double bass. For more engaging celebrity content, visit 7Life on Facebook.